Hola chicos y chicas, buenas tardes. I apologize for the delay in posting this video. I had a couple of things I had to take care of this morning at the middle school. All right. For day five of your 10 day contingency plan packet, we're still looking at the top row where I'm still working on your checkpoint A speaking task. The directions say write six good phrases or expressions for each task. You should do seven per day. Like I clarified yesterday, I'm not a math teacher. That should say eight per day because there were 16 total, right? There's day one, day two, day three, day four, and today. Your tasks read, number nine, I am your friend. We are taking a class trip. We will discuss how you feel about it you start the conversation. For this task, you might want to use expressions using ear and some emotions. Give me some because and reasons. Number 10, I am your friend. We have just heard on the news there will be a major snowstorm. We will talk about it. I will start the conversation. This one will be really helpful to use your weather. Might not hurt to use some clothing vocabulary as well. For number 11, I am your friend from Spain. I have just given you a gift. You tell me how you feel about it. You start the conversation. For those of you that are interested in learning what the word for gift is in Spanish, gift is el regalo. Okay, not presente because that's talking about the present, like present tense. Number 12, I am your friend. We have just received our report cards. I will start the conversation by telling you how I feel about my grades, and then you tell me how you feel about yours. Remember, when we're talking about grades in Spanish, grades are las notas, because if you say grados, you're talking about degrees in terms of temperature. So knowing your school subjects, some numbers might not hurt for this one. And then again, to say I get good grades or bad grades, is sacar buenas or malas notas, okay? For number 13, I am your teacher. You have lost your Spanish book. You come to me before class to tell me. You start the conversation, okay? For this one, knowing school supplies might help here um, to say, I'm looking for, because you don't really have, I lost, because we haven't done past tense. Buscar is to look for, because I know you guys know when you lose something, the first thing you're going to tell me is I misplaced it, right? So you're looking for it still. <laughs> Number 14 says, we are friends. We were invited to a birthday party and I need help deciding what clothing to wear. I will start the conversation. This one you're going to want to talk about recommendar because you're asking for recommendations. You're going to want your clothing vocab. And then if you're going to say, I think or I recommend, those are both stem changing verbs. Pensar is to think. And that's one of your E to IE, as is recommendar. Oh man, wow, it's 15 never truer than it is right now. I am your teacher. School will be closed next week for a holiday and I want to know how you're going to spend the day. I will start the conversation. Well, we're not really close for a holiday per se, but this is still pretty true. So you're going to say stuff like, I'm going to go blank, or using your A-R-E or I-R verbs, tell me what you're going to do. You might want to say hours, like what time you're going to do certain things, like, for example, at 2 o'clock, I'm going to play video games. At 4 o'clock, I'm going to call my friend, that sort of stuff. And number 16, I am your Mexican friend. We are in Mexico and you invite me to visit the United States. You start the conversation. For this one, you're going to want to probably use recommendar. I recommend you come or come visit. 
You might want to use some places either in Whitesboro or places in New York, like places in the town I'd recommend uh, trying to convince them to come with you. Um, you might want to give some reasons like it's interesting, it's fun, that sort of stuff. All right. That's all you're doing for today, guys. If you have any other questions aside from the little notes I left for you right here, please let me know. Again, we're not uh, forgetting about you guys. I went into the middle school today to just kind of wrap up some stuff, and it was really weird going in and not seeing any one of you guys there. All right, I miss you guys a lot. I'll see you guys back on Monday at 12 o'clock. Stay safe. Have a great weekend. Nos vemos.